Hey, what's up guys? So we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna talk about a game I like and we're just gonna do it freeform. No editing or nothing like that. We're just gonna talk about ESO and the Merkmeyer DLC because I've been seriously impressed with that so far as I've been playing it and I really want to just talk about ESO because in my opinion that game is possibly one of the biggest turnarounds I've seen in an MMO in years. Now, most people probably remember when Elder Scrolls Online came out, and it was pretty meh. There wasn't a whole lot going on that differentiated it from a lot of other releases, and various other MMOs were doing combat a little bit better, WoW was still doing the general theme park MMO stuff better, and it was very generic when you take out the Elder Scrolls aesthetic and the universe away from everything. That being said, I still played the game and it does have its own following, and with every expansion and DLC that's released since the original version of the game, I've only seen improvements in how they add in mechanics, how they do questing, PvP, really everything that ties together the entire product. But you know, you won't see IGN, you won't see GameSpot covering this, because why would they ever go back to ESO, right? It's not a very profitable thing to talk about. So, let's talk about things like the Merkmeyer DLC that came out, that I've been enjoying immensely, because it adds in all these new mechanics, and it adds on to the original base product that makes the game a far better and more fleshed out experience. And it isn't just thanks to the Merkmeyer DLC itself, it's thanks to every other piece of additional content that's come out before it. Now, when you look at a game like, say, World of Warcraft, and I've been playing WoW recently, so I've been getting accustomed to that system and everything, whenever an expansion for that game comes out, it tends to wipe away a lot of the changes from the old ones, whereas I'm finding with ESO's various expansions and enhancements, they're adding in new content, and carrying it over to their additional content later down the line. So what do I mean by that? Basically, uh, say with the addition of the Thieves Guild quest lines and that zone that came out a couple years ago, that added in a whole new mechanic into the game that involves sneaking and hiding, and it was like an entire different way to do quest lines. Like, you didn't have to do combat if you didn't want to, they added a bounty system into regular towns and stuff so you could steal items and sell them and fence them, and they've carried that type of stuff over and those mechanics into basically every new zone and DLC that they've introduced into the, into the game since then. Obviously not to the same degree that you'd see when you go to, say, the Gold Coast, which is the Thieves Guild zone and questline, but whenever you go to a new area nowadays, you'll find at least one or two quests usually that take advantage of that sneaking mechanic. And that really adds to the overall enjoyment that you get from going through quest lines when you're not doing the typical MMO thing of go and find 10 bare asses, bring them back to this guy. Sometimes you'll do, st you'll do similar stuff to that, like not gonna lie, it's still an MMO after all but you get different options that were introduced beforehand and now they're carrying over into every expansion and they're starting to stack up. And it's to the point now where in Merkmire, I'm feeling like this is the best DLC that they've done for ESO to date just on a pure PvE standpoint. The quest lines are incredibly interesting, the storylines are really good, it's not entirely focused on combat, you can still do tons of combat if you want to, but the strength of ESO is quickly becoming how it tells stories and how it does quests unique compared to a lot of other more traditional MMOs on the market. One of my favorite additions now is they've added in a new mechanic when you're doing certain quests in the main story in Merkmire, which I'm not going to spoil for you, but basically as you go through different delves and dungeons, you have to escape them by avoiding traps and trying not to, well, die, obviously. But while you're going through it, you can stop and, say, lockpick a bunch of old relics to, like, get them out of chests and stuff to bring with you. The more of those you bring, the more bonuses you get. So it's sort of like a risk-reward system, so you're not just running through a bunch of, like, poison smoke and trying to escape the tunnel. Like, there's other stuff that you can do, and you have to make choices while you're trying to play the game and escape and go through the quest line. Now, that may not sound like a really big thing to a lot of people, but when you consider that ESO has done a bunch of little improvements that are similar in scope to that type of thing, 
it really makes the overall game just more engaging and you have these little moments when you're playing it of wow I can't believe they took the time to put that into the product and it's not on the same level as say Red Dead Redemption 2 with its shrinking and engorging horse balls this actually has an improvement on the gameplay that makes the game far more enjoyable in general it's something I'd love to see many more MMOs do. I feel like a lot of them get very bogged down and stuck in. We need to be exactly this from the get-go. We can never change because people are going to hate it. Whereas ESO is kind of slowly adding in all these improvements as they go. And for the most part, they're being very successful. And it isn't even just gameplay improvements. I was running around in Merkmire last night and I just turned off my music and listened to the ambient sound around me and it sounded really nice. Like, you can play the entire game without the music on at all and be totally fine. In addition to that, I've noticed that the voice acting has gotten notably better in this DLC over the previous ones, and it's really engaging to listen to. I offer a test of spirit and skill that will push you to your limits and perhaps lead to your swift and painful death. There is no greater honor for a warrior of the Naga Kul. Carnivorous plants, the necromancer of Bokzul, corrupts harmless plants, turns them into monsters. They spread from the ritual site, endangering the tribe's hunters and gatherers. I need someone to get to the root of the problem and cut it out. Ha! Famia hasn't gotten you killed yet? Well, in that case, let me have a go at it. Got a lead on a job that's right up your alley. Saving some priceless antiquities from being looted. Nobody really knows why the Blackguard seized the teeth of Sithis. But this wouldn't be the first time they've gone after priceless relics. The pieces in those temples are irreplaceable. And when you've got really good sound and really good voice acting, it does enhance the MMO experience because while you might be doing quests that are similar to other MMOs, you get a little bit of extra lore and story and tidbits that makes it more engaging to go through. There are plenty of quests that give you options in how to complete them, there are different ways to deduce what's going to happen beforehand, and all these quest lines have very interesting outcomes. And like I said, they're not entirely combat focused. I was doing a quest line last night where I had to go and find an old branch for an Argonian, and basically I killed maybe four different enemies that entire time. A lot of questing in ESO is solving puzzles, it's listening to dialogue, making different choices, and trying to like finagle your way through words rather than all through combat. It makes the game feel slightly more like an RPG and less like an MMO. And I think that's part of the reason I keep coming back to it. And like people have said forever, ESO is not Skyrim, it's never going to be Skyrim, but they keep adding these little elements that make it just a little bit more single player focused. And trust me, that really has an effect on your enjoyment of PvE. Even the world and level design this time around, I feel like they've really hit their stride in their voice acting, their character designs, their personalities, their writing. Everything that they do just feels very authentic and a joy to explore around and see what's going on. For instance, I found various like random encounters in Merkmire that you can make choices in and help people like solve disputes or arguments and stuff like that. And you can solve all that stuff. It doesn't give you a quest, it doesn't really give you a reward, but you can still engage in it and it makes it feel like the world is more alive. And I can't think of any other MMO that would do anything close to that. Now look, I get that ESO still isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea, and it's not a perfect game by any means. There are some major performance issues in that game. In Merkmire, because of all the foliage that they put in, because it's in like Black Marsh and all that stuff, I've dipped down to below 20 frames before, and that's pretty unacceptable, but it's when you have all this other little stuff that makes you say, 
wow, I can't believe they took the time to add that, or wow, that's actually making me enjoy the game and want to play it more, that you can kind of forgive little things like performance issues. Not that performance issues are tiny little things, but y you know what I mean. What I'm trying to say, I guess, is I feel like ESO is kind of a dark horse in MMOs right now. Now, it totally deserved the criticism it got at release because there were plenty of issues with the vanilla product, but at this point, I honestly think it's probably worth taking a look at. It also helps that if you buy the base game and then, say, the Merkmire DLC, the game is entirely dynamically leveled, so you don't run into an issue where you have to go through the entire base game, which may not be as good. You could hop right into Merkmire and, like, hang out with some filthy lizard Argonians if you want to at level 1, and you'd be totally fine. And at that point, you get all the little quality of life improvements and the little extra things they've added into the game to make it a lot better. And that's something I really missed when I was playing WoW. And I mean, I like WoW, I really do, but it's very old school at this point. Despite the ridiculous amount of expansions. So yeah, if you're looking for an MMO that feels slightly more like an RPG, it's got some interesting mechanics going on into it, I would honestly highly recommend taking a look at ESO and giving it a shot. The vanilla version of the game is buy to play as well, so if you buy it when it's on sale for like 15-20 bucks, then you can probably just go through part of the vanilla campaign, see how you like it and if you want to stick with it, and if you don't, it's no biggie. So if you're looking for an MMO, maybe take a look if you want to, I think it's pretty good. And no, this isn't a sponsored video or anything. I just played a game that I liked and wanted to talk about it. What the fuck is going on? I'm a to the